going to give you two ways in which you will be able to identify the partner and also validate the partner so that you when you look at the person you will say this is a hundred percent match Hello, Namaskar and Abhav to all my friends from your friend astrologer and guide Irfan once more with you from your very own channel Astro Assurance. A lot of times when we are looking at who can be a probable partner, a few things we also look for is to know how the person would look like, what the habits of the person are, what the person's demeanor is, what the person's attitude is, maybe where the person may work and to take it forward what will be the social structure of the family or what will be her family background will she come from a family which is more affluent than mine and which direction she will come from so at least many times i find especially in horoscope matching when somebody wants to confirm a partner or know the details of a partner when they're looking for a partner they are expecting to know more so that they are able to identify the person more properly so identification of a spouse before you meet the spouse or to validate the person who is right now you are probably seeing or dating that becomes the norm as if to confirm yeah this is the partner who i have to be with and because i am with this person and my horoscope says that this is the partner so this is my person who i'll be with for the next 10 15 20 years or if i'm not being able to find a partner and it's been some time but i want to know when i'm looking for a partner who will fit the bill more according to my horoscope and through that i identify my partner and that's how i'll be able to see who is my partner so that i can take forward the next steps now the problem with this is that the moment you're given some identifying tips that your partner may be good looking he or she may be fair or the family social structure may be better than yours the person may also be working in your line of work then they start looking for that kind of person and sometimes when they have met somebody who may be checking many of the boxes but not these important boxes for example somebody is very good looking but the person is not very fair but astrologer has told this person the person will be fair the person's family may be as good or maybe slightly lesser than this person, this gentleman's family. But he is looking at somebody whose family social stature is better than his, for example. Then, in spite of the person checking all the other boxes, the person may have similar values and principles like yours. The person may be looking at future goals similar than yours. You and the other person may be matching in your attitudes, in your ambitions in life. Many other boxes may check. But these three four important ones are not checking then you'd want to stop dating a certain person or seeing a person because the person doesn't match the horoscope details or even if you find somebody when you're starting to look for somebody who could be a probable partner and if some of the important boxes are not checked through your horoscopic placement then you let go of the person looking for the ideal fit looking for that mark on the cheek and because of that the person has to be with you now come on my friends if this is the way you are going to look for identifying a spouse then it's fraught with danger the reason being is why is the astrological science given to us it is because we have been given a choice these are probabilities this is not confirmed guaranteed placements because of which you'll get only a certain kind of a spouse many a times the spouse may come close to matching what is there in your horoscopic placements but not exactly some of the important details according to you may not be matched but there may be many others which may not be visible externally they may be matched and so going with external career or richness or looks or color of the person and using these to identify or the direction which the direction the person may come from these are extremely flimsy areas to validate or check or confirm a person in fact you may be putting a hurdle in your looking for a person who may suit your life's preferences better than somebody else however we still want to so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to give you 
two ways in which you will be able to identify the partner and also validate the partner so that you when you look at the person you will say this is a hundred percent match and even if it's not a hundred percent match you may come close to saying this person seems to be the one who i can take my relationship forward because this seems to be the closest match both according to the astrological placements and my validation because of the tips i'm going to give you through my video so let's jump into and first see how you may identify the person from your astrological placements and then validate it through some due diligence some logical some intelligent some wise approach you may be able to do to validate whether the person seems to be the right person for you or not firstly most of us are very worried about looks how will the person look so first check in your horoscope if your seventh house has moon or venus or both in the seventh house then the person can have softer looks the person will be good to look at may be beautiful and maybe of fairer color whatever your standard of fairness may be at least in your society in your community the person may be regarded as fair and because moon and venus are also there especially if it if they are in good dignity the person may also have very rich taste in life and so how do you know when you're meeting as somebody or seeing the person how can you validate the person through your horoscopic placement and the other person especially if you have not been able to see the person but you have seen the horoscope so in the person's horoscope see if the person has a moon or venus or any benefit planet in the lagna of the horoscope of the person if the venus is very strong in the lagna or moon is very strong then the person may be good to look at the person may be presentable the person may also be fair and because venus is in the lagna in strength or venus is in strength in the 12th house then the person may also have richer taste in life then what is the more intelligent wise way when you meet up with the person confirm these through talking to the person in a very casual chat as if to know the person you may ask of course when you look at the person you will know whether the person is good looking or not but to know the taste of the person you may ask the person uh, are you interested in brands or what kind of clothes do you wear uh, what what kind of things do you what kind of taste do you have I do you have more refined taste so in your casual conversation you may be able to validate whether the person does have richer taste in food in clothes how they do of their house in terms of the vehicle that they want or the item that they buy and through that you will be able to validate whether in your horoscope that person's horoscope and through your interaction also the person is checking most of the boxes or not and through that get closer to the person who can be your lifelong partner but what if the person is not fair or not going to be fair for example saturn and venus in your 7th house which means the person may be beautiful but the person may not be very fair the person may be wittish or maybe slightly a one shade darker or maybe more shade darker than you then you have either saturn and venus in the 7th house in your horoscope or saturn in some way aspecting the 4th house or the lagna as well or at least it will aspect the 7th lord or venus in your horoscope but in such a case the person may definitely like the good quality of life but the person may also be more tighter on the purse the person likes the good quality of life will and will save up money before the person goes and buys the person will not swipe the credit card every now and then just because they like to have something at home they want to have a richer quality of life and through that fall into financial problems so firstly check through your horoscope and then if you have not been able to see the person then check from the other person's horoscope is saturn in the 4th house saturn in the lagna saturn even in the 5th house or saturn in the 2nd house all of this will show whether the person is tight fist or not and venus is in the lagna or venus is in the 12th house the person still has good taste or not and if saturn is aspecting the lagna lot chances are before you see the person the person may also be of a slightly lesser shade in terms of looks than you and then when you meet the person you can validate the looks surely and how to check whether the person is tight fisted or not ask questions that how do you look at managing the finances how do you manage your house what kind of things that you prefer what kind of brands do you prefer if there is dearth of money then how do you balance if the person says yes i am little tight fisted if i want to buy something which is more expensive i will save up money for that thing rather than swipe the credit card i don't believe in credit cards then you may know that this is a more closer match to what you are looking for through your horoscope 
other person's horoscope and when you meet face to face with the person to validate whether this is the right person for you or not. Then if you want to see whether the person is a hard working person or not or what does your horoscope say. Your seventh lord in the tenth house, Saturn in the lagna or even Saturn in the fourth house can show a person who is a more workaholic person who likes to work, who will not sit, be sitting idle and this person may also be concerned about his or her career, may also be ambitious. And this is your validation from your horoscope. If you have just seen the horoscope of a person, but you don't know whether that person is hardworking or not. See, if the person can be, if that person has Saturn in the 10th house, Mars in the 10th house, Saturn and Mars in any way getting connected to the Lagna or the Lagna Lord or the 4th Lord in the 10th house, then you can say that this is a closer match between what your horoscopic placement say and what the person's horoscopic placement say to the person's chart. Now how do you validate whether this person seems to be the person through your interaction? Then ask about the quality of life they like to lead, who gives the expenses, how do they manage the expenses, how ambitious they are, how career focused they are, how many hours do they work, how do they look at work-life balance and through that you will be able to ascertain whether this person through your horoscope through the person's own horoscope and through your interaction, through this wise communication, through this intelligent communication, you are able to validate whether this person seems to be a more proper match from the identity of the person or not. Then if you want to check whether a spouse of yours, a probable spouse of yours, maybe somebody who has a less immune system is more sickly also or is prone to fall sick every now and then. In your horoscope, if you have the seventh lot, in any of the dusthanas, either in the 6th house or 8th house or 12th house with the malefic and if the 7th house also has a malefic or if the 7th lord is also under the aspect of a malefic then there is a high chance especially if Ketu gets into the mix or Saturn gets into the mix that the person may keep not so good a health and then if you are looking at the horoscope of the person before you have met the person then you can check the lagna lord's placement, the dignity of the lagna lord whether the Lagna Lord itself is in the Dustanas or the Lagna Lord is with any malefic, especially either with Saturn or with Ketu. And if Mars is also weak, then you can also be more certain that this person seems to be matching your astrological placement and that person's. Then validate that when you meet the person. Overall check how the person seems to be, whether the person is chirpy, lively, lazy, seems to be sickly, how pale the face is and validate through your questions ask how the person keeps himself or herself more healthy what are the healthy habits do they have is there something which they are asked not to take not to partake and how good is their immune system are they choosy about their food habits why they're choosy about the food habits when did they last get ill check if they are presently on any medication and check if there have been any surgeries through that you will be able to validate through your astrological placements the other person's astrological placements as well and through your interaction whether the person seems to be more confirmed on matching from a health point of view whether the person matches closely on these ideas. Now to see the financial status of the would be probable person. In your horoscope if 7th lord is exalted there are benefits in the 7th house. The 7th house the 7th lord is placed with the planet in its exaltation sign. The 7th lord is placed either in the, any of the kendra houses or even in the trine houses with another benefit. 7th Lord is in the 11th house, Venus is very strongly placed in good dignity, all these point towards or at least 2 or 3 of these placements point towards the financial status of the person may be much better. Then if you are looking at the horoscope of the person before meeting the person, you can check where the Lagna Lord is placed, how strong or dignity Venus is, where Jupiter is placed, especially see the status of the second house and the fourth house. If the second lord and the fourth lord are strongly placed, there are benefits in the second house, especially in the fourth house. And if any of these are exalted, benefits are placed in the lagna, then this person can be of a good financial status, maybe sometimes even in a better financial status than yours. And then in the person's horoscope, if the lagna lord is in the second house, the lagna lord is in the fourth house, the Lagna Lord is in the Kendra with other benefit. But in your horoscope, the seventh Lord is in the second house or the fourth or the eleventh house with strong dignities and with benefit placements. Then you can say this person seems to be a good batch from both your astrological placements and the persons as well. Then when you meet up with the person, you can validate through your horoscopic placements to the other persons and 
through that interaction whether the person does seem to be somebody with good financial status for example check for how the person looks check how the person has arrived ask the person which car he or she drives ask the person how many cars they have in the house ask the person what is the source of income of the father in a very conversational manner not to be seen as a more prying manner or a questioning manner or a interrogating manner ask them where they stay ask them which place did they take the last holiday ask the person what do they mean by quality of life or lifestyle what are the things that the person may prefer and through that you will be able to ascertain whether the person enjoys a good lifestyle and comes from a good financial background or not now whether to check whether the spouse probable spouse will be disrespectful to you or will respect or honor you or not or will be appreciating of you or acknowledging you or not so then see whether there are malefics place in the seventh house seventh the lord is placed with malefic especially if the seventh the lord gets into an inimical sign with another malefic and if sun or rahu or mars or rahu gets into the seventh house without any benefic placements and jupiter not involved either with the seventh or lord or with the seventh house in any manner then there is a high chance that this person can be respectful this person may not pay heed to in situations to be respectful to you or in generally appreciative of you. and then validate the other person's demeanor similar to what you are seeing through your horoscope in the other person's horoscope before you have met the person for example see the lagna of the person if the lagna has sun or mercury or sun or mars in the lagna or sun or rahu or even mars or rahu in the lagna then this person can be somebody who thinks very highly of himself or herself and there may be a tendency to look down other people if the lagna lord has gone into any of the trine houses then to the person may have a good background may also think highly of the person the person may also be not low on confidence and if there are any malefics involved either with the other person jupiter if you are a woman and checking for a man and if there are any malefics with other person's venus for example if you are a woman and checking for a man's horoscope or if you are a man and checking in the woman's horoscope check if there are malefics with the jupiter especially going into the dusthana then there is a chance that that the probable person may not be respectful to you then validate these through in your interaction with the person ask the person that if i don't seem to be paying attention to you and or if i'm not listening to you or if two or three times i don't listen to what you're asking me to do then how will you feel how will you react or if i seem to come across as disrespectful to you how will you react then see the how the what the reaction of the person is if the person says i will talk to you i will sit you down i will tell you how i feel how hurt i was then there is a chance that the person may not be so vicious but if the person says i'm not going to listen to you man i give back i will give back if somebody tells me anything that is something i just can't tolerate that's your answer then to see whether the your horoscope is also showing and the other person's horoscope is also showing that the marriage may break or even loss of spouse loss of spouse can be for various reasons firstly in your horoscope if the seventh lord goes into the sixth house especially either in a debilitation sign like like for an aries ascendant native venus rules the libra sign the seventh lord goes into the sixth house in virgo then you know that this is that kind of a placement where the seventh lord is getting debilitated in the sixth house or the seventh lord getting combusted or seventh lord getting into any of the other dusthanas with the malefic and the person jupiter or venus so if you're a woman and your jupiter is also with a malefic especially in the dusthana and if ketu is involved in the mix then there is a high chance that the relationship for some reason there could be a loss of spouse if mars gets into the mix then the loss of spouse can also be because of tragic circumstances then check the horoscope of the probable person if the other person lagna lord is very weak the person dusthana has, has no malefics the trine houses don't have any benefit the mars of the other person's horoscope also is very weak then it could be a chance that the person is matching the placements of your horoscope then it increases the chance that the person may be lost to in your life because of either the person being too sick or the person moving away from you or the or the person even being lost because of health reason or in rare circumstances even because of tragic circumstances now you can validate about this when you meet the person also check is the person rash in how he or she drives check on the health of the person check on the healthy habits of the person check if there are any addictions check if they have been hospitalized check if there are any medication that they are going through and how strong and how healthy they have been in the recent past 
through that you can validate through your horoscope the other person's horoscope and in your interaction to see whether this seems to be a more probable match about what your horoscope is giving out the kind of person that person may be now to see if the person is a very virtuous person if the seventh lord is exalted and if a lagna lord is also placed in the seventh house then that person can be a very virtuous person very committed to you very loyal to you if your seventh lord is also in the ninth house with a benefit then to the person can be having very good values maybe even a more religious person a more spiritual person also and if you are a woman and if jupiter is placed strong either in the lagna or jupiter is placed in the seventh house or even in the ninth house or the fourth house then the chances that the person can be very virtuous person is increased now when you meet the person after checking your horoscope other person's horoscope and then in the interaction you may be able to validate these things further by asking questions related to the person's character for example if you are a man you may ask the woman that if you find me getting the more attention of the other women will you feel jealous will you feel confident would you also be inspired to make more friends outside have your own social life especially if i'm too much of a workaholic and then would you like to spend most of your time outside making friends and if you feel a little jealous because i have so many female colleagues who work with me would you try to make me jealous by you increasing your male friends and through these questions you may be able to validate how the person thinks is the person virtuous is there a chance that this person will remain loyal to you in the long run or not and through that you may be able to check the virtuosity or the character of the person you can validate this further by checking on the lagna lord of the person and if the person's lagna lord is placed in either in any of the kendra houses or the trine houses and with a benefit or if it gets into the ninth house with a benefit then it is a very very high chance that this person has a lot of character and this person is a very virtuous person maybe even a religious or a spiritual person how do you know whether the person can be more complaining or procrastinating then if your seventh lord for example goes into the second house with malefics there or your seventh lord gets into the eighth house with malefics especially with mercury involved in the mix either mercury is placed in an inmical sign in the seventh house mercury is placed in a combustion or inmical sign or even debilitation in your fourth house or in the lagna especially if rahu gets also into the mix then this person can be very complaining if ketu gets into the mix then the person can be less interested in you may not care so much for your insults also then maybe lose interest maybe lose interest in you over a period of time if your seventh lord is placed with ketu or with saturn with another malefic and if the lagna lord of the other person's horoscope is weak their mars is also weak and their third lord is combusted their third lord is weak they are in their third house you have saturn or ketu or both of them mix or both of them present then the person may also be lazy or even little procrastinating especially if the third house is weak mars is weak and the lagna lord is also weak then you can validate this further when you meet the person you may ask what motivates you how ambitious are you what is your daily routine if you have three four things on your hand how do you manage that would you put them off would you put them off until all of them become very very important and urgent or you try and finish up the important task first are you plan how organized you are what have you been doing lately what have you been doing in your career how how far do you want to go in your career through that you will also know whether this person is lazy is more complaining to you procrastinates and will depend more on you to do the household work and to take care of outside things as well as to take care of them then if you want to validate other probables for example when you are thinking of getting married does the other person's dasha antar dasha or do the transits of the person also fall in line for example the dasha of your 7th house and your 4th house is on and saturn and jupiter are transiting either over your 4th house or your 7th house over your lagna lord or your seventh lord then there is a high probability that you may get married during that phase during the same phase look at the astrological placements and the dasha antar dasha and transits of the other person if the person also has similar placements where the dasha of the lagna lord the fourth lord the second lord the eleventh lord or the seventh lord or a mix antar dasha dasha of these are is on and the saturn and jupiter are either transiting or aspecting the lagna lord or the seventh lord during the same phase of time when yours are then there is a high chance that this person can also be in a similar period of getting married 
and if other things are also validated through your astrological placements other person's astrological placements plus in their demeanor their character when you validated them through your interaction then there is a very high chance that this person could be a strongest match or strongest probable match to be your long term partner but the challenging period could be only if the person is going through the peak sade sati period that is a period definitely to be avoided and if you also in your peak sade sati period or rising sade sati period and if the other person is in any of the phase especially the peak or the rising sade sati period then it is a good time or a good thing to avoid marriage during either that time or with that person so friend now that we have seen through multiple placements from looks to the financial status of the person financial status of the family whether the family has good total stature or not whether the person is a person who's a workaholic high ambitious having high ambition or not having a high lifestyle or not will be a high maintenance person or not is lazy procrastinating complaining fighting is there a separation or divorce or even loss of spouse in the lieu and whether the person needs you and matches you in the kind of nature of person that you're looking for calmness of the person loving nature of the person peaceful environment of the house after looking at all of these through your astrological placement through the other person's astrological placement through also in your interaction and lastly to the dasha antar dasha to the transit when you put all of these put together then whoever comes closest to the match can be the most matched person and the most probable person who you may end up with in your life and that is the person for you so friends look into your astrological placements deeply look into the placements of the person who you are dating or seeing right now to check and validate but also check through the interaction through your wisdom rather than only astrological placements also checking the period the transit and accordingly and make your decision a more long lasting and a wise decision So friends like this video share this video and if you're looking for a personal consultation from me please reach out to me at the link given below till some other time with some other video this is your friend astrologer and guide Irfan signing off ciao